or you might work with one. You might even be dating one. Dating a narcissist can be difficult. It can be confusing, and in worst cases, it can turn emotionally manipulative and abusive. While this isn't the case for all narcissists, it's good to be aware of potential signs. Are you dating a narcissist? Let's start off by talking about what a narcissistic personality disorder really is. It's way more intense than someone who just counts their likes on Facebook. The DSM-5 criteria states that to be diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, someone must be impaired with both self-functioning and interpersonal functioning. This means that they gain their self-identity and self-motivation from others, often through traits such as grandiosity, antagonism, and attention-seeking behaviors. Narcissists experience low levels of empathy and don't consider the effects their behaviors have on others. Their relationships are shallow and are a means to an end. That end is satisfaction of self-esteem. Let's go through a list of signs. Bragging. Is your significant other adamant that they are the best at everything they do? If you have someone who brags a lot, it could be an exhibition of grandiosity. Grandiose ideas manifest most often as thinking one is better than others and acting condescendingly towards other people. If your date made fun of you for screwing up that easy mini-golf hole, it could be a warning sign that you're dealing with a narcissist. Self-centeredness This one isn't an exaggeration. Most people who know about narcissism think that all narcissists are self-centered jerks. While the jerk part is up for debate, self-centered is right on the money. Another facet of grandiosity, one of the diagnostic criteria for NPD, is seen by the trait of being self-centered. If your date has only talked about themselves all night and doesn't remember anything about you, it might be a sign that they're a narcissist. Gaslighting. If you're not sure what gaslighting is, you can check out our video about emotional abuse and how it relates to gaslighting. In a nutshell, gaslighting is making someone distrust their own view of reality through manipulation. Narcissists so easily gaslight people, accidentally or on purpose, because they need to feel like they're smarter than you. If you express a memory or an opinion, beware. If you're dating a narcissist, they'll do everything in their power to change your mind so you believe that they're right. Emotional Detachment Most narcissists actually seem like the perfect partners when they start out. They'll flatter you, they'll build you up, and then expect you to build them up. When they've finally gotten all the assurance, validation, and ego boosting they can from you, they'll start to pull away. If your partner all of a sudden seems distant or annoyed whenever you're around, know that that could be a sign that they and their narcissism are starting to move on. Instant messaging. Many narcissists need instant gratification to be satisfied. Because their sense of self is directly tied to others, if someone takes a while to respond, they're going to start feeling weak and unstable. If you're with someone who gets annoyed when you don't answer your phone right away, that's a sign of narcissism. It's also not fair to you. As someone who should be living your own life. Drama kings and drama queens. Not to be confused with the stereotype of a narcissist, having drama doesn't actually mean you could be diagnosed with MPD. However, narcissists do believe themselves to be starring in their own blockbuster lifetime movie. They need to keep the stakes of their life high in order to access admiration, triumph, and respect. If your date has been talking about their tragic life story a lot, take it with a grain of salt. It could be narcissist fodder, and they might be just trying to get a response out of you. Where's the controller? No doubt your narcissist lover will have taken charge of everything from the date night to the Facebook official status to the casual road trip you wanted to plan. They need to be in control all the time, as it makes them feel like they're in power. Whether this power is real or perceived doesn't matter. They'll stay in control until the bitter end. This includes controlling their reputation as well, which is oftentimes more important to them than their relationships. No means no. In any situation, if someone says no, it means no. 
but to a narcissist, no, it's just another challenge. And they love to take on challenges. Your narcissist considers themselves the exception to any and all rules. It also means they'll take your preference or difference of opinion on as a challenge. For example, if you don't eat meat, your date might try to convince you to try it. That you have to try it, because it's delicious and one bite won't hurt. They'll use any techniques possible to convince you that your opinion is wrong and should change, and your personal boundaries are of no concern. If your partner oversteps your boundaries often, it might be time to let go. And lastly, you feel used. The long and the short of it is that if you're dating a narcissist, you're gonna feel a little used sometimes. Ask yourself if you feel satisfied in your interactions with your partner. Do they ask about you? Do they care about what you've been going through? If you find yourself tagging along on their adventures and listening to their gossip and big ideas for hours on end with no reciprocation, it's a sign that you've found yourself dating a narcissist. Thank you so much for watching our video. I'm Ashley. You can follow me on some of my links below. Be sure to follow Psych2Go on any of these platforms. See you in the next video!